Okay. After reviewing some fountain pens of other makers, uh, let me sh introduce today some of my own fountain pens. More or less, I have three lines. These in wood and hard rubber in ebonite, this series and this series. Let's start with this series. This is a ebonite, a hard rubber pen made totally of hard rubber with a, in this case, with a steel nib and a ebonite cap. If you compare my fountain pens to, to other makers, you can see they are rather large. You compare this to a Pelican 400 or this one is a Monte Rosa or a Mont Blanc. You can see these are rather large pens. Uh, this, this, this pen is also available with a small cap and in this case this one has a titanium nib or you can, as you can see, you can get it with an extra long ebonite cap. The, the next model is avala available in wood with a ebonite front piece section. The as, as I, I have to show this on, in this model too. Most of my pens have the threads directly in front of the pen. You can see the, this part, these, these threads don't uh, uh, interfere with the writing hand because they are so near to the front of the pen. The, this is the same with, with this pen. This, this is available in different styles of wood. In this case, ebony with a titanium nib and in the typical desk pen form. This one you can also get with in with in ebony, also with a titanium nib. The third model is a standard model with the threads right up here and with a metal band around the cap. You can get this pen in different woods. This is the Wenge edition pen. You can also get with a snake clip. As you can see, all of my pens come without. And now the same model with a Cocobolo shaft in the form of a desk pen. Model with a rosewood shaft. The same model with a ebony shaft. An ebony shaft in another in another form. The same model with a koa shaft. 